Back in the in the first hour of, of today's program, I was reminiscing with with Matthew Kelly, um, who I met a year ago, uh, a year and two days ago, actually, whilst he was rehearsing in London uh, in a play. And uh, literally 10 days later, uh, the world as we know ended. Um, and I guess for you as a singer songwriting uh, partnership, that meant no work, no income and you have to feed yourself. Yeah, there was a strange initial period where we were kind of stunned and sort of frozen with like, oh, oh, this is different. And so we had to figure out some ways to, you know, pay the bills. Uh, initially, we did some uh, online shows on, on uh, Facebook and that sort of thing. But then we kind of felt like we really missed writing songs. And we were aware that we kind of had friends who perhaps might be up for having a song written about them. So that's how it began and uh, approaching our mailing list. And the, the great thing about it is that we found that we really just love doing it. <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's such a, a happy celebration of someone to write a song about them and, uh, and, and include sort of all the information that perhaps their partner or their family want to put into it. For us, it's lovely because obviously we miss being in a room with an audience and it's so, so nice to think that on a, someone's birthday, we're part of making them feel very, very special. So it's been great fun. It's not like a, a one size fits all. It very much is a bespoke service for each individual client as such. Absolutely. So obviously everyone has their own information, but also we take a lot of time looking at what style the song is like. And a couple of um, weeks ago, we had to write this kind of 70s funk song and then someone else. The next day we might be writing something that sounds more like a kind of English madrigal. We've done pop, we've done jazz. But the other thing that we do is we make videos that go with them. It means we get a chance to put people's personal pictures in. We did one for a chap, um, I think it was his 80th birthday, and he was in Australia. So we were able to put all the pictures together and then they played it over Zoom. So half the family were in London and half in Melbourne. So it was something they could share online as like part of a Zoom party. It lasts forever and it's got no carbon footprint. <laughs> it's a green <laughs> present. I love selecting presents for friends or family for me it's about the choice and trying to make it personal and I think you know if, if it is a special birthday um, or a special person that you want to recognize this is something that's so personal and so original it's it's such a lovely idea it's been a great pleasure and, and the, the funny thing is that sometimes we, we want to share the songs but because they're private and personal <laughs> It, we can't do that, you know. So um, we put some case studies on our website so people can see, you know, what some of the process we've gone through with other people. The the uh, the, the the Parker cat video is certainly one of our most popular ones. So um, yeah, if you've got a pet that really needs a theme tune, you know, we we we're up for any suggestion. <laughs> a, this is your strangest request, then, Parker cat. Scott Colford, who commissioned us, he said. He wanted it to be a bit like a, a TV theme tune, a bit like sort of Maud or Mary Tyler Moore or those kind of things that would last forever, you know, and uh, you'd, you'd still be humming. So our last song we made for uh, somebody called Fiona, she, she, it came out a bit like the Wonder Woman theme tune in the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see the video that accompanies it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd love to do a wedding proposal. I, I, I just think that would be such a fun, a fun thing to do. So um, no one's yet asked us to do a breakup song. Uh, Thank goodness. <laughs> so if anyone's thinking of popping the question, I think that would be really fun. Absolutely. Are Is you... my partner listening? <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> yes, stranger things have happened. So if anyone listening wants to engage with you for Mother's Day or for a proposal to make Sarah happy, maybe if her partner's listening, you know, get in touch. You can do it anonymously. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm not quite sure how you'd be able. Anyway, I'm sure that you could work something out. How do we do it? Uh, best thing to do is go to our website. So that's rulestonandyoung.co.uk. And that's R-O-U-L-S-T-O-N. I've got too many vowels in my name, but there you go. <laughs> Great for Scrabble. <laughs> yeah, rulestonandyoung.co.uk. And there, there's um, a trailer for uh, for the bespoke songs. There's case studies. There's just all the information you need, really. The first thing that they would do is just um, do a little form that just says what the date of their deadline is, who it's for and and um then we can just say yes we're available we're up for this and uh, and and then we move forward from there with the, with the, with our questionnaire and then you'll have this wonderful unique original uh, memory to share as a family it's been a delight to talk to you both thank you very much for joining us uh, today on the program and i hope thank you're you. very busy come mother's day thanks for having us ian <laughs>